Hey hello sapiens, it's me Rogue Marby Scott and this is going to be a Funk I Found on the Web spin-off. It's going to be a review of the Instantly Ageless cream that I found quite a while ago. Basically, I want to review it, duh, because um, I think you guys need to know the truth about the cream and I want to, I want to show you also the effects um, and lastingness of it, snissness. What I'm doing right now is I've got one side of my face without makeup and this side of my face is really tanned compared to obviously this side of my face. Now, this is my natural skin tone as in makeup and I'm going to prove it by showing you hair no. Yes. See, so I've, I've got really tanned over the last few hours. I've been out in the sun ridiculously like fucking hell. So you can see that this side does match everywhere else where this side doesn't. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Jeunesse Instantly Ageless and, oh dear. Yeah, so there you go. That's that. I'm going to cut the new sachet and I'm going to show you how it works without makeup and with makeup. Apparently you can apply this with makeup. Now I am not putting a lot on. You can see that is not a lot that I've squeezed out. So I'm going to put this under on my eye. Pat, 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 pat. Whatever they say, look at those bags. I've got some serious bags. Okay, so I've done that on the first side. Now I'm just gonna go over and put on my second eye. And trust me, this moves with your makeup. Putting this down, I'm going to get a magazine so that I can fan my face. Oh, she's fat. Now, once again, no smiling. I feel like I'm doing some weird wanking session. So I'm going to stop fanning my face now. And I'm going to come closer. Now, on this side, look, can you see this white residue there and there and there? I don't really see any difference to this side. I don't know if you can. The other side, it's a lot wider underneath my eyes as well. It's like I've highlighted it and whatnot. And also, I can't smile. Like, literally, I feel like if I move, if I don't not control I don't know what the oh I feel like if I try to restrict moving any of this area right now the effects are not going to work and I'm going to show you see yeah I still got lines I still got lines so maybe let's add on a little bit more and we're gonna add those to the lines. So let's go here. Oh, Jesus. I need Botox, man. I've got lines. And I haven't put on a lot. 
I seriously haven't. So we're gonna put that on to that side. One side only, because my makeup seems to be nice on that side. So two minutes has gone by and this side seems to be more set and whatnot, but this side doesn't. I don't know if that's because the cream is interacting with my natural oils in my face from sweating and whatnot. I mean, it does say to use it on a clean skin. So, but I'm just going to do it because a lot of people aren't going to be using it on a clean skin. They're just going to be like, you know what, I need to top up. And remember, if you're going to be using this throughout the day, you're going to top up on skin that's not clean anyway. So, I'm giving you a perfect, perfect example of what's going on. So, I'm going to come close. Can you see that white starchiness right there on my eye? See? And then I'm gonna go over this eye. That just looks hideous. I'm really sorry, it does. And my makeup is smudged. Um, when I first did a video about how this cream works, and it's not specific, it's not particularly showing up a lot on camera right now, which I'm really pissed off about. But you can see some of the results already from what I'm going to say is that it does on dark skin leave some whiteness. It leaves a white starchiness. Like, I don't know if you ever cut up um, potatoes and if you don't wash your hands immediately and the, and the juice from the potatoes dries and the starch and whatnot, it leaves a white cast over your hand. When you, when, as a person of a fairer skin tone, you're not really going to see that white starchiness. You, you will on a dark skin, on dark skin. Now, although my right side looks semi-flawless, that's only because I've got makeup on. And this side just looks still haggard, like it's not worked whatsoever. And from what I'm seeing coming closer, there's the white starchiness there. So I'm afraid with this um, product review, I'm, I'm going to have to give it a... I'm going to have to give it a three Marbesian, uh, no, a two and a half Marbesian smiles out of five just for the fact that it does work. However, once you do ex start expressing yourself on your face, like any normal homo sapien would, the starchiness comes. Like it starts cracking, although it's still tight, it's, it, the, the molecules in the cream start to rip and that makes it look starchy and white underneath your eyes. Not so much on this side. Um, also, it makes you feel like you don't want to express yourself so much on your face. And I'm a person who expresses a lot on their face. Like, I've been told I don't have to speak in order to speak. So, everything is showing up on my face. This whole jeunesse instantly ageless thing is, is is not going to be my first choice. I mean, if I'm going to be a bitch throughout the whole night, if I'm going to have um, resting bitch face all night, then maybe I will use this just for the fact that I'm not going to be showing any expression apart from one expression. And once I put that cream on, it, on that one expression, it will possibly be like,
<laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I, I, um, I'm sorry if I've let any of my subscribers um, think that they should go and buy this cream or have seen the results that it does on my face because obviously I'm showing it to you guys and you've gone out and bought it. So I'm sorry if you bought it and you have seen the same results as I have. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong but I am not using that much on my face for me to, to, I shouldn't be seeing this basically. I've not seen it on any YouTube videos and I've not even heard any YouTubers um, say anything bad about this so maybe I am the first How, but I don't care if I'm the first and I don't care if I'm gonna get slayed by people but this is just this, this whole cream is not for me I mean it might work in other areas of the body but right now it's not working on my face so I think I'm going to just stick with my Omega 3 eating my fish, drinking my water as much as I can when I do. I just do makeup whenever I need to hide anything. Oh gosh, I can't believe I've tanned so much in three hours. That's like, really? So my verdict for the Jeunesse Instantly Ageless is a 2.5 and, um, Maybe I might buy the vials. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the sachets are 2.5. So maybe I might buy a vial, buy a vial, and see if the samples are less effective than the vials themselves. Anyway. Ciao for now, homo sapiens, and I'll see you soon. Hopefully you've been checking out my dear letters and you've been checking out some of my other vlogs that I've been doing. I am currently working on something for you to get to know me a little bit more. It's not going to be videos, so you're just gonna have to read, and we all know that reading can sometimes be so boring. So, um, yeah, I won't make it boring for you. Bye.